A servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. In Matthew chapter 9 from verse 20 to 22, in three verses, and in Mark chapter 5 from verse 25 to 34, in ten verses, we read about the record of a miracle where a woman suffering from issue of blood for twelve long years was healed. She was treated by many physicians in different excruciating cruel means of that day and had spent all that she had, was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Her confidence level of healing must have been totally shattered. All hopes are lost. She was also left behind. She was also left with no provision for further treatment. Uh, this is the scenario and background and in which she had heard of Jesus. This hearing was working out faith in her life against all odds. Mark records in chapter 5 verse 28, For she said, If I may touch but the clothes, I shall be whole. Whereas Matthew 9.21 writes, For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Apostle Matthew, the gospel writer, who was addressing this gospel primarily to the Jews, was very careful to include this phrase said within herself, as this disease was by the Jews reckoned unclean and untouchable. She, hence, could not tell anyone else but said within herself, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. But the word Matthew used in Greek, which is translated said in English, is a very powerful word. The Greek word is lego. It means to say, to speak, affirming, uh, maintaining, to teach, to exhort, to advise, to command, to direct, to point out, to point out with words, etc. The parallel English expression could be simply, someone means to say something rather than saying something. Let me repeat it. The parallel English expression could be, someone means to say something rather than say something. She was not thinking within herself positively, but saying to herself very emphatically, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And that saying, she believed in her heart and said to herself, was driving and directing her into action, which was certainly beyond reasoning. She went, she touched, she was healed. In Matthew 9.22 and in Mark 5.34, Jesus said unto her, Daughter, thy faith have made thee whole. Jesus never said you were thinking had made thee whole. Glory. We, God willing, shall meet in the next Oras talk. Till then, God bless you. God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.